get a bit of a polish. This contraption here is known as a Pakula Witch Doctor. Josh, if you could explain for the viewers back yeah, home. So this is a t teasing device. We troll this behind the boat along with our Lewis. Mm -hmm. Okay, this gives off a big shake and a wiggle. Okay. Sends lots of big reflections down, down into the deep. A marlin who's coming up to look at the boat or look at the lures, he'll see these big broad flashes just like a tuna would give off or a mackerel would give off. So it, for an inquisitive marlin, definitely brings it to the boat. Okay, so it's bringing the predators to the boat. Now, a smaller boat like this lacks the attraction capabilities of a big boat, so a very handy thing to have on a smaller boat. Get those predators in and get them looking at the lures, mate. That's it. Let's get in the water. Everything helps. Absolutely. And it's as simple as that, a bit of flash and wiggle. Always helps, mate. Yeah. We moved out to the Marlin waters, set the lines, and dropped in the witch doctor. After hours of trolling, we might have loaded right past what could have been our only chance for a hookup, if it wasn't for Hayden, that is, our pint sized fish finder. That's the melee. What's happening here? We've uh, been trolling around, and we he spotted a little Marlin. He has got eagle eyes, this little kid. He's been spotting birds, manta rays, everything, and he spotted a little marlin. Oh, we're on. This is our marlin, I think. Please, please. He spotted his tail this much sticking out the water. Yeah, you write that on, mate. And has, uh, he's just seeing everything. So if this is a marlin, you go, you this he caught it. So we've pitched the livey back. Oh, fingers crossed, please. Let's have a look out that way and see if this fish jumps. Here he comes, here he comes. Yeah, just try to keep the tension on the Oh, he got it. Sailly. The sail, oh, the sail. Go Hayden! Woo Mate, he spotted that. Honest, honest, we've been out here for probably three, four hours, and he's spotting birds that us adults can't even see. He's going, over there's some birds we drive over. There's another little bird over there we drive over. There he is. There he is. There he is. Give that that nursing home with all the fish on the wall and all the video tapes I reckon I'll be watching this young fella <laughs> on TV and he'll be making my day and get me out of cutting the grass on a Saturday Arvo that's for sure <laughs> that's it buddy Damn beautiful contrary to popular belief sailfish more often use their spear to slap their prey unconscious rather than trying to spear it they use their spear in a similar fashion when trying to ward off danger Hence the wild swinging motion they often display when hooked. And of course, due credit to Joshua here from uh, On Strike Charters for uh, feeding that livey back perfectly. Sometimes catching the live bait is equally as important as catching the fish itself because we, uh, we switch baited that fish. The hookup rate on lures, even though these guys have got beautiful fine hooks and know their stuff really well, pitching a bait back to a marlin is the best way to convert into a hookup, Joshua. Oh, definitely. I mean. They're trying to eat a bit of plastic, obviously it's a false imitation, it's not what they're used to, it's a slightly different colour to their, you know, normal sort of prey, but I mean, when you're feeding them a live bait, it just all makes sense to them, you know, no hesitation, they eat it. Yeah, absolutely. Now, now tell me about the fishery here, mate, you fished all around the world, he's a very experienced game fisherman, Josh, here. Boy, x mouth, mate. Ah, oh, it's just, I mean, beautiful weather all year round, um, there's marlin here all year round, there's sailfish here all year round, it's just, it's a fantastic fishery. <laughs> Tags in. Okay, what's him on the map? Pass that rod. With game fishing rules, uh, once that tags in, he can pass the rod over. That's his tag fish there. Um, remarkable effort from a <laughs> guy fish, that's uh, about 20 kilos Woo! himself. Woo! Well done. I'll tell you what, we're an hour and 45 minutes flight on Skywest from Perth. Bang, we're up here. We're on the largest coast hugging coral reef in the world, Ningaloo, and the fishing to match. Yeah! <laughs> Look at that! A beautiful Exmouth sailfish. Now, oh, a very long fish. Don't let that be disconcerting. What that is, that's his stomach. They're actually, tell me, tell me about that. He just re swallowed that. It's the ultimate party trick. If you can get that back in there, buddy. Good, well, good guy. So get over here, Hayden. What do they do with their stomach, mate? Uh, they spit it out because. Uh, they don't like getting hooked. Yeah, and it's a reaction. It's and they can actually flush their stomach out because they eat so much. When they when they've eaten so much, they just want to get rid of some stuff. It might be spikes or they've eaten too many fish. 
They eject their stomach, wash it out. It's the ultimate party trick. Re-swallow it and swim off. And he knows all about it. And that's his sail. That's why they call the sailfish, yeah. buddy. Yeah. Look at that. And that tucks right away so you can swim real fast. Have you caught a sailfish before? Yeah. Oh, of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get him back in, Let's Hayden. Get him back in. Come on, mate. What we're doing there, we've got the, the tag in, Hayden. Yeah. And that's critical for the ongoing survival of these fish. Then we just swim him along gently until his colour comes back. They're a very hardy fish. They're sometimes caught thousands of kilometres away. And look at that purple coming back at him now. It didn't take long for you to catch a fish that's more than your own body weight, mate. You did it with one fish. That fish is about how, how much, Josh? It's a nice fish, it's about 18 to 20 kilos. Yes, indeed. All right, we're gonna let this guy go. <laughs> Sensational. Well done, mate. The sailfish, Hayden. What do you reckon, they're a pretty quick fish? Yep. How fast do they go, do you know? 100 k's per hour. That's exactly right, 100 kilometers per hour. One of the fastest fish in the sea. He knows his facts too. Could be time for me to retire soon. Joshua Brunzel, well thank done, you so mate. much. Well done, well done. You mate. are a little champion, thank That's you. Right, dude. Woo! <laughs>